Hey guys, hey girls, good to see you coming on. I'm just letting you know, I've just finished an hour's work. I'm at the Bay Run here in Sydney and um, I'm just sitting down. I've got my uh, Remarkable here. I've got my iPad here. And I've just been sitting down working out content for my real estate gym members for this week. And um, hey, good to see you. Good to see you, Grant. Good to see you all coming on. And I just opened up a file and the file was an audit that John McGrath and I had produced about four years ago on what the highest performing individuals in our industry were doing. And I actually then layered that on some mortgage brokers and they actually said it is exactly the same thing. And then I actually layered that on media sales people. So I've got this great list of qualities that make someone a great business development salesperson. And I know it's Sunday um, and maybe business is not what you want to be listening to, but if you don't, you just click off. So let me just run through these qualities and ask yourself, where are you? Good to see you, Bassam. I'm actually still at the Bay Run, Bassam, where I saw you this morning, but I did go home first. So let's go through. Hey, Vedant. Hey, Stefan. Say hi to everyone. So let me run through. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but I've got to say to you, the best of the best, they're optimistic. So they score really high on optimism. They're really, really good at taking responsibility. And there's a saying, if it's got to be, it's up to me. The next thing is, they're very high on in, in enthusiasm and energy. And whilst it's uh, uh, qualitatively, it's not easy to measure, it is there. I mean, the wind is there, you can't see it. It's actually hitting me today, it is a touch windy, but it is there and I've got to tell you, it's the same with energy and enthusiasm, it's there. Someone walks into the room, you can actually feel it. Yes, Mario, that was me on the Bay Run this morning and I have to say to you, I just can't get over it. I have not been able to do any serious cardio since February 2022, that's over a year and a half ago. And all of a sudden, in the last week, I've just noticed that my health has dramatically improved. Anyway, let's put that aside. I won't keep running through this list. The last thing I said is an energy and enthusiasm. Let me move on to the others. Time management, which to me shouldn't be time management, it should be choice management, because you don't manage time, but you do manage choices. And with better choices, you make better decisions. And with better decisions, you get better results. So the truth of the matter is, the decisions and the choices you make will have a very big bearing with the path and the trajectory of your life. Let me move on to the next one, personal organisation. Whether you're organised at home or at home, people that have got their shit together do a lot better. Keeping things simple. I'm not quite sure what the, uh, the law is, but there's a law that when you're faced with doing something, normally the best one to use is the simplest and the easiest one to understand. And then we move on to prospecting consistently, prospecting consistently, prospecting consistently. And I've got to say to you, team, that for me, that's the big one. That is the big one, big one. So um, I'm getting a few people that are hitting me up saying, can they join on this live team? If I join, it's going to stop the linear path I'm trying to do with this video. So I'm not being rude, but I just got another two or three minutes. But thank you for asking to join. Um, prospecting consistently. This is the one. This is the one the, the best of the best have been able to nail. And um, the amateurs struggle with. The amateurs struggle with. So team, all I'm going to say to you is, if you haven't read the book Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Blount, you should read it. You should then probably listen to the podcast that he does. Or Actually, no, I'd listen to the audio book so you can really nail it into your head. And then start using some of those principles there to actually help you make prospecting a priority, make prospecting part of your life, because as far as I'm concerned, prospecting is like oxygen for our business. 
And then the last one I want to touch on is the best of the best have got this incredible ability to have difficult conversations often, fast, and deliver them in a positive way. So team, I want to thank you so much. Stay well, enjoy your Sunday. That was a short summary of qualities the best of the best have.